I know why you guys are here to see if Mark Hell Fultz will be the final piece for the Celtics to have a championship run. I win my friend Khan from the YouTube channel. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. We will be coming out with part two later. Mark Hell Fultz is the first player in 25 years to average 20 points, 5 assists, and 5 rebounds and shoot 40% from 3. His exact stat line for the year was 23.2 points per game, 5.9 assists per game, 5.7 rebounds per game, 1.6 steals, and 1.2 blocks, while shooting 50.2 from uh, for field goal percentage and 41.3 from 3. I mean, that's just insane. He also averages 1.2 blocks and 1.6 steals. That's really good for a point guard. And the awards he won were first team, Pac-12, third team, All-American. Yeah, and I mean, it's just insane for a guard to see somebody just tearing up the NCAA. He may not be playing for a good team or, and all, but like, he was tearing it up this year. I mean, I don't know if anyone can be able to like stop him once he gets in his prime during the NBA. Not a lot of people were saying that he would be exactly like Lonzo Ball. No one thought he would be really good as Lonzo Ball, but then he like, like destroyed in the college basketball. Yeah, I mean, everybody was hyping up Lonzo Ball coming out of Chino Hills and everything. He came out of DeMatha, which is right around me. I live in Virginia, but DeMatha's in Maryland, so I'm not that far from it, but you know, it was pretty insane to just see somebody from Maryland tearing it up like he did. And I mean, like, if, if you really look at his highlights, he just really looks like a prepared basketball player for the NBA. And I think he's going to be a really great basketball player going into the NBA. I don't know, but I think we should, um, in the next video, we might do a simulation of this. But um, what I think he will be like, I think the Celtics can really contend for a championship with him. He's got great defense. He's got great offensive power. He, he's another play, a great player for the Celtics that they need. I mean, what do you think, Chris? I mean, saying that he's going to be a, hopefully a first-round pick just from coming out of Maryland, he can be a great um, player for the Celtics, and he can help, like, Isaiah Thomas, Avery Bradley with all their offensive work and defensive work. Yeah, I think he'd be great for uh, two-point shooting and uh, being a firepower either off the bench as a point guard or as a starting shooting guard because I think I think they need because Avery Bradley's such a great defender but he's not really great at offense I think if they would like to put him off the bench but they, they have a really good bench so I think he could really put that bench together and get some scoring and be a really great six man or he could and then he could uh develop as and become a starter as his career goes on but I think I think I would they would do best if they put him at starting shooting guard move Avery Bradley to the bench so they got a, a lot of firepower off for the starting lineup because Isaiah Thomas when he gets hurt as you could saw, as you saw if you watched the Cavs series they were just done like there's nothing else they could do they did win one game but I mean the Cavs didn't really play well but if they have another scoring threat, they would be able to like kill, just kill everybody if because they would be able to score enough to beat the Cats, I would think. But it would take a few years for their team to develop and their chemistry to get better. And I would, or the other thing they could do is trade the pick, which would be wouldn't be bad. But I think they're gonna keep it and go for uh, Markel Fultz. And if he if he goes into the player he's expected to be, I think there'll be a championship contender. Either he will be starting shooting guard and put Avery Bradley for like a super sub, and like he can like Avery Bradley can hold that bench together, or he can just work, he can instead of Marcus Smart he can go in for Marcus Smart, and he can be the super sub for the bench, and he can actually tear up the uh, his the other team with the bench offense when the other team has their bench in too. Yeah, I think that would be, yeah, that would be just really good, uh, really good for the Celtics to have him, but the other thing is, um, is he, if he went to the starting line, he, he might, there, he's a ball-heavy point guard, he's really, like, he's a scorer, just like Isaiah Thomas, so, I don't know, I feel like they, it, it just depends how they, Celtics want to play with him. I think he should be on the bench, because he's coming out of Washington, and he's not going to have a lot of experience. So he shouldn't be a starter, but instead of Marcus Smart, he could be the key player that they need. 
But yeah, I, I really like that Maggie. He can also, he's also a really great passer. So, I mean, he could help their teams in many ways. I mean, and all, he's a great scorer, great passer, great rebounder. He averages one offensive rebound a game, which is insane. I mean, like, that's really good. He gets, he's a, he's really, like, a good hustler. He's just great in every aspect of the game. He's a really smart basketball player. He's a really high basketball IQ. I mean, there's not much, like, the most players coming out of college are expected to have, not ex always expected to have a great impact. But I think Marco Fultz, if he has the impact of, like, as he had in Washington his first year, just like, or have an average year, maybe win rookie of the year, that'll help the Celtics at least, I'd say they win three games, on the, at least two or three games on the Cavs, depending how good and what happens in this free agency. But, um, it all depends on how he plays and what, how the Celtics go in the free agency. I say if they sign, like, somebody like Gord Hayward, like, a great piece yeah. to add, like a small forward. Put Jay Crowder on the bench, maybe get somebody really good, maybe. But, um, if they do that, that is what will help them, like, and that's what will help, that's what the last piece will be to win a championship. I mean, saying that after he's gonna, of course, again, come out of Washington, and if he can win Rookie of the Year, he can gain his confidence and he's not be nervous, like the first year, like how most rookies are, he'll be really good for the Celtics because no one wants to be nervous in the NBA game and choke up like, all, all their shots on defense and everything. Yeah, I, I mean, nervous, being nervous, because he's so, he's probably, there's so much pressure on him to be great, especially out of a Celtics team. The Celtics franchise is just, it's just such a, like, a great franchise all time. So, I mean, to live up to, like, the great players of the Celtics is just hard and to be, like, and the Celtics have never really had a really bad first uh, pick. If you've seen all the first picks, they've never really had a horrible player like Kwame Brown or, like, I mean, JaVale McGee, not really. He was a, he at least he turned out to be okay, but like really bad bus or injured bus like that were injured for their whole year for their whole career. But um uh, yeah, I mean because like you only, you never see so many rookies turn into stars. But um, I think he'll be one of this one. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh thank you.